गुड मॉर्निंग सो एज प्रोमिस्ड विल बी स्टार्टिंग विद द ई सी जी टूडे नी आई रिटर्न पार्ट वन बिकॉज इट्स इट्स अ लॉन्ग टॉपिक राइट सो वॉट विल ट्राई टू डू विल स्टार्ट विद वंस अगेन विल रिवाइज सम ऑफ द पोर्शन ऑफ फिजियोलॉजी एंड देन विल बी गोइंग फॉर द कार्डिया लीड्स एंड ग्रेजुअली स्टेप बाई स्टेप विल कीप ऑन लर्निंग स्टार्टिंग विद द नॉर्मल ई सी जी एंड देन the various conditions so i really don't know whether things will go in two parts or three parts let's see right so chalo let's start with our today's topic and uh, one question which was asked means uh, about the anatomy part right so i'll answer it in very brief say in anatomy the question which was asked is that as uh, we have discuss we have discussed some of the bones etc for the upper limb what about the muscles nerves etc see upper limb lower limb thorax is in is right now in progress right thorax is in action then abdomen pelvis a uh, head and neck and the brain all these videos they are already i have placed it in our, on our channel right so you can just go through that there are playlists available so you can just go through that because that is also like a live training right which was conducted last year so over there also you'll get the same feel exactly the same style step by step everything was dissected and all those pdfs they have been kept uh, into our shared folders right link is already there into the description so we won't be wasting time doing the same thing again and again right instead we'll be going for newer topics okay so let's see how we'll be studying the ecg what would be our action plan first we'll study two things one about the pacemaker and second about the cardiac myocytes right about the cardiac myocytes so in pacemaker how the pulse is generated though we have talked about it some time back in a separate session but today we'll be having a very quick revision of that right so how the pulse is generated what happens when that pulse is transmitted to myocytes so how they are stimulated and that is what leads to contraction now same thing will be representing on ecg electrocardiogram right when we say electrocardiogram or electrocardiography so this is a language this is a written language of the heart so this language it tells that how the heart is functioning and it will tell about almost all the chambers right it will also tell about how the current is going so that's how multiple column and finish general and in one hour thanks ah uh, okay thank you well uh i was talking to someone about this but uh, well we we can't uh, criticize any of the teachers but there is there is some problem but anyway let's focus on our subject right so whenever you have got any of the issues just send a mail i'll try to cover those topics acha so coming back to this electrocardiography electrocardiography just understand that it is a language so what my wish is you learn this thing as a language don't try to rush that chalo straight away i'll i'll take the ecg in my hand and i'll start detecting that okay this is a septal infarction no 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 don't do that don't do that don't try to cram anything the way you learn language right so we first learn ke chalo a for apple b for boy c for cat right that's how we learn and we try to visualize right okay apple is like this right so this app this is this is like an apple right and and gradually things become so comfortable that is from alphabet we start learning the words from words we learn the phrases after phrases we start creating the lines then those lines are linked with each other and that leads to formation of paragraph and when we are so confident right we do all these things 
like as if it is a second nature right we don't have to even think about it and that is when we start giving up the speech and when we prepare the speech or when we give the speech whatever the things which we have learned that is in the form of knowledge whether it is say electronics whether it is medical whether it is any of the subject so now the this knowledge it takes the focus speech becomes automatic same thing will happen with your ecg as you will learn step by step so today we'll be learning like alphabets right a for apple and b for boy right and gradually will will keep on building up the things so with this intention say so these these will be the our players right pacemakers pacemakers means those who will be starting the pulse right so in that it is this sinoatrial node also called as the sa node right this sa node he is the prime pacemaker prime pacemaker means for lifelong things start from here only now if i divide if i divide the whole thing right just like this just like this right so we over we say over here that this above portion that would be the atrial part the right and left and below will be the ventricular part right now this sinoatrial node from here right from here it will send it to left atrium and right atrium so that as the current goes to right atrium and left atrium they contract right they contract and then the current will go from sa node it will go all the way to av node right it will go to av node this one is the av node for av node as always i am telling that for av node one important point and that point is that av node is the only electric window between the upper part of the heart and the lower part of the heart what i mean to say is that this is the upper part of the heart that means atria this is the lower part of heart that is the ventricles any current from top to bottom can go via av node only there are no other windows right once they are into the ventricle so then there is bundle of haze and purkinje fibers and all network and everywhere then there are so many yeah even in atria yes this is the backman's bundle right there are all those fibers yes but if it has to go from top to bottom if it is if it has to go from atrial section to ventricular section only atrioventricular node only this is the only window available right this is the only window do remember this thing right because there would be if there is any other window if there is any other fiber which opens over here so then the current in correct way into the ventricles and that can lead to so many complications right so that is what we'll learn we'll be learning in abnormal abnormal ecgs or the pathology right so this is one thing rest is all very logical from sa node to av node from av node it goes to so this is one this is two bundle of his right i usually write this thing as capital right so that there is no confusion this is a name right so this is 3 and then there is right bundle and left bundle and they divide into all these purkinje fibers and all, right so we have got these bundles and finally things are going into the form of purkinje fibers so that it goes into all those cardiac myocytes this is where we have we have kept all our players right so this is sa node this is to av node and from av node it goes into the bundle of his from bundle of his it goes into those those right and left bundle right and then it finally goes into the purkinje fibers this is these are nothing but all the base makers right so in case if sa node fails av node takes over av node fails even these bundle of his they can take over right but obviously the rate would start declining the speed at which they are sending the pulse that starts decreasing right acha 
Next, I am drawing something, right? What it is, let's write here. Say this one is our pacemaker. Oh, oh let me write, draw here. This is our pacemaker. So current would start from here, right? And then we have Right? We have all these contractile tissues, right? Cardiac contractile tissues. Now, if I draw something like this, this, and then this, the plateau and down, this, the plateau and down, this, a plateau and down. It makes sense, right? What exactly are we talking about? These are contractile tissue. These are contractile tissues, right? Myocytes. So these contractile tissues, when they contract, then they have to relax because this is something which will lead to, that is when the heart muscle would contract, then it will need to relax so that blood fills in. And then next time when it contracts, it throws that blood out, right? While for pacemaker, it is like a gun, thak, thak, right? It keeps on firing. Right? It has to just fire it. There is nothing else which is needed. So this is like an electronic component. right? This is like an electronic component which keeps on sending the pulse one after the another in very rhythmical fashion. But rest of them, they have to physically move. So contractile tissue, it is something which has to physically, physically move. Right? While in case of pacemaker, there is no physical movement. It is just the movement of those ions. What ions, right? Well, there are some gap junctions. There is a, this is the speciality of cardiac tissues. Gap junctions. In skeletal muscle, though, okay. one after the another tissue contracts, that's fine. But they say okay, in heart, the whole unit has to work as one. So these are the gap junctions which quickly transfers those ions. Right. So over here, which ions would be transferring? Well, that would be the sodium and the calcium. They will be transferring. Right. They will be transferring. They will be transferring. So these are like special channels through which they will be transferring. And this is acting as a pulse. Right. This is acting as a pulse. So when we say that the wave of pulse goes, to so what exactly goes? Right. It is nothing, but it is because of the sodium and the calcium, it starts traveling. So today what we'll do first thing is, we'll combine both of these together. That is what really happens. So that immediately, when you'll be learning about that, what happens in hypokalemia? What's, what, what would really happen in hyperkalemia? So you will know that, okay, which, which ion is getting affected and you'll know that how the contraction would occur and how that contraction would reflect into your ECG. Right? So that is, the, the whole pathology will become very easy. In fact, I should say you won't have to cram. It will become so logical. So let's start with first one. First, we'll be talking about pacemaker. right? And in pacemaker, you know that there is one classical word for pacemaker. And what is that? It is called as the automaticity. Right? Automaticity. Automaticity is that nothing is needed, no motivation is needed, right? And they will keep on sending the pulse by themselves. So that is automaticity. Now, this is because it is automatic, right? So let's let's draw something. Let's draw few channels, right? Few channels. We are trying to make things a bit easy. And this is the cell, right? This is the cell. This one, this thing is outside. And this one is inside. Outside is because there is outside, there is ocean. Ocean has got lots of sodium. So sodium is Na+. Plus. So outside is plus. Water, water everywhere. Outside, inside is obviously negative. Right? And then a funny thing starts. Right? They are called as funny channels. Well, that is how funny it is. I don't know. But they are actually called as the funny channels. Right? Funny channels. What funny channels will do? Slow channels. Gradually, they'll say, okay, okay, sodium, you come in. right? And sodium starts coming in. 
right it will keep on coming now actually to this process it goes lightning fast right we have slowed it down to millions of times so that we can actually understand every process right so we'll keep on drawing it over here so so we know even the phases which really occur right so from minus minus 60 millivolt to minus 40 millivolt these are all in millivolts right so this this right so gradually right it will it will rise right because the sodium is entering inside sodium is entering inside so inside is becoming more positive that means inside is becoming less negative so it rises and then at one point at one point it fires what happens because those voltage gated calcium channels they open right voltage gated calcium channels they open to zoom right it goes up right so this is what is the call as the fourth right uh they have finished the uh, Well, thank you. Thank you for appreciation. Plus, thank you so much to all of you for, for um, writing those comments also. Because it really helps. By the way, unfortunately, one of our video has been banned. Right? That is because they said that the content which is shown, it is not for the public. Right? So, in that video, I will just put the disclaimer that it is for medical education. And the dissection which has been shown, it is for the medical students and it is for the learning purpose, then it would be allowed. But no problem. I'll take care of that thing today. But it has been banned. Right now, if you click on that, it, it won't allow you to say, they don't won't allow you to watch it. Anyway, I, I'll rectify it as soon as this, this lecture is complete. So, minus so that's the phase four right this is like pacemaker potential and then voltage gated calcium channels right they open so straight away there is spike so this is this is like our calcium channel right now this is a fast channel so what a what right those calciums they will start getting dumped and this is voltage gated right this is voltage gated this is voltage gated so that is that's what really happens. So this is what is called as the zero. And this is depolarization. Correct? Right? Dada Giri. Right? It goes up. So this is depolarization. Yes. Yes. That's right. Mumbai. It was Tata Mumbai Marathon. TMM. Uh, coming back to this. Right, so this is this is a fast channel. This is a fast channel. The runner from Ethiopia he finished the full marathon in two two hours seven minutes. Means they are like running machines. They are all those elite runners. So coming back to this, right? This is that is depolarization, and then there is straight away it falls because now the potassium channels they open up calcium channels close and this potassium that will go out so we have got the repolarization right there is nothing like what happens in case of cardiac myocyte that then that calcium balances and then it goes down no there is nothing like plateau right we are coming to that so this is what really happens in pacemaker right so we have got initial say uh, potential and then there is depolarization and then there is repolarization these three channels they will be working together now this calcium which is inside right this calcium which is inside that is that goes via gap junction and it starts traveling into the myocytes cardiac myocytes right now let's see what really happens in those cardiac myocytes right? hmm. over here so via gap junction via gap junction right those sodium and calcium they travel 
सो दिस इज वॉट इज कॉल एज द इम्पल्स दिस इज द इम्पल्स विच ट्रेवल्स राइट वेन इट ट्रेवल्स नाउ वी ड्रॉ द दैट वॉट वुड रियली हैपन इन केस ऑफ कार्डिक मार्साइड राइट सो द माइनस नाइंटी मिल सो ओवर हियर इट इज मिली वोल्ट राइट सो माइनस नाइंटी मिली वोल्ट एंड दिस इज माइनस सेवेंटी right first it is resting okay this is this is resting and then as the pulse comes right as the pulse comes it starts rising why should it really rise right well just a minute let me draw it properly uh -huh. yeah why should it really rise because of sodium channels right because of those sodium channels because initially that leakage this leakage so this was slow right that leakage gradually takes it to minus 70 millivolt at minus 70 millivolt those voltage gated fast fast sodium channels they open right and the sodium gushes in so let's let's draw let's add one more page right that would be fine so let's keep it like this so we see both of them so this is the first right so here it is all those voltage gated fast sodium it enters right it's sodium enters so there as soon as it enters right inside becomes more and more more and more positive and it happens it reaches to a peak and it is at this point right it is at this point the second thing operates and what's that second thing well that is calcium channels right that is the calcium channels they and these calcium channels these calcium channels they would they would balance right they would balance how they will balance what would really happen is that initially this portion in this small portion there is it would start in the form of a potassium leak right uh let's let's draw it this way so that would become easier right so initial so this was next yeah so there is a small potassium leak right but this is slow slow potassium leak it starts going out right and as it starts going out yes slow l type slow and then first slow and then the rapid right and then the rapid those calcium channels right slow and then the fast but the thing is at plateau everything is balanced so potassium and calcium they are balanced potassium channel closes and then this say so the calcium channel closes at this point and the potassium leads to drop of this this graph right that is what is leading to repolarization so this is how it will keep on moving from myocyte to myocyte and things continue for this contraction the calcium which is inside right that calcium will trigger endoplasmic reticulum now endoplasmic reticulum is store of calcium is a store of calcium so this is this endoplasmic reticulum that would be stimulated by by this calcium so that is when the large amount of calcium would be released this is what is called as the calcium induced calcium release right so calcium induced calcium release so this small amount of calcium which is coming out coming into the cell anyhow finally it is going to affect this endoplasmic reticulum so when in pharmacology we'll see that if we can stop this calcium so that will lead to decrease in the contraction because once this calcium is released so that will lead to contraction right that will lead to contraction so for contraction this calcium is needed that's the whole idea behind this principle so let's see this is how just another 
representation of SA node and the in the AV node. Right? And these are all Purkinje fibers, but this is how the distribution is. That if it, this is the right atrium, right, this is the left atrium, and in between, right, this is the gap. So see, AV, AV node is the only window, only window between upper and lower heart. Okay, let's now move on to the point where we want to see that whatever is happening, what would happen it in with relation to our ECG. I'll make this thing slightly bigger. Okay. We name it P, Q, R, S, T. Right? There is U wave also, but right now we are not touching that U wave. Now, we know two parts. One, depolarization and repolarization. In depolarization, there is upward current. When there is upward current, that means contraction is occurring over here. Right? And when there is repolarization, when things go down, so it is at this point when it would relax. So depolarization would be affected with contraction. Correct? And repolarization would be associated with relaxation. Relaxation. R for R. Will be for the relaxation. Whenever there is depolarization, there is a positive spike. Right? What I mean by that is, let's add one more page. Say so we cannot see the current, but we can see the effect of current. So, same way our electrodes are there. These are our electrodes. Electrodes. So, those electrodes, they are, when the current comes to them, right, the result would be the positive spike. When the goes, current goes away from them, so there would be the negative, spike, negative fall. So, this is the basic principle of entire, entire, ECG, whether the current is coming towards that electrode or not. Now think it this way. I am making one more electrode here. I am putting one more electrode here. Here. And if I say, and if I say this is one, this is two, so the electrode which is over here, right, for him, one and two, correct? Yes, positive and negative deflection. So, this is the positive deflection and this is the negative deflection. But it is with perspective to what electrode bus. That's the thing. So, for this electrode, that is, say this is electrode A and let's say this is electrode B. So, from the perspective of B electrode, if this is the base, this is the baseline, right? What would happen? It will say a direction. First, it is going away. So, for him, it would be like negative negative deflection and 2 is coming towards it so it would be a positive deflection right positive deflection so the thing is whether positive or negative it is not at all with respect to care what is happening to heart no it is just electrode is watching that from that angle that what is happening current is coming or current is going it is we who has to interpret that is we are talking about which electrode and we will be having 12 different electrodes right 12 electrodes there will be 12 electrodes why so many electrodes why why we have got so many because we want to really watch the heart from all angles right we want to watch the whole heart into into 3d right so both one and two are depolarization waves well that's what i'm telling see depolarization or repolarization right that is only with respect to when we talk about that particular that particular tissue right over here as very rightly you only said positive deflection or negative deflection yes it is the positive deflection or negative deflection so with respect to electrode b right say 
this is a negative deflection this one is a negative deflection it is going down and with per perspective to electrode a this was a positive deflection so which one is good well both are good both are good right so it is it is with respect to that that particular electrode this is the basic electronics right regarding the depolarization wave so if the contraction is occurring right if the contraction is occurring over here so then we call that this is the depolarization and when it, it is going down it is repolarization but it could be other way around also right so that's why from the from the electrode this is the basic principle of electrodes right now we'll be adding that what is depolarization repolarization with a standard pattern because when will you will see avr right just remember there is a node called avr augmented node augmented vr node in this you will find everything has become ulta sub ulta everything will be reverse right that's right so so one which is coming towards the electrode will show positive and opposite perfect right uh, let's not confuse avr right now but we'll, we'll you will automatically see so this is one now let's add something to this here it is this is what we are watching a very standard pattern right very standard pattern So we are watching now a standard pattern. We start with atria, right? So here it is, the impulse has come, right? So here we start. That pulse, this is from, this is our AV node. Uh, this is our SA node. This is our SA node. And this one is our AV node. So from SA node, that's a pacemaker, it has fired, right? Through gap junctions, those sodium and and calcium they have entered into into those cardiac myocytes right so that what would happen right they will they will be generating the current right and it would be thank you abdul so from sa node to av node as things go right as things go right see what really happened this is let's say if i am sa node and then there is av node Drrr, right so current will go our electrode th remember our electrode is here right for all these cases right we'll name this electrode at a later state that what exactly it is it is electrode one or right avr avl avf right all all those things we'll see but right now for our understanding think of that our electrode is here that means this is our eye we are watching from that angle so when and and obviously this is this is exactly like this na? right sa node is here av node is here we are our electrode is is over here I, he is watching from here Drrr, current comes right either from this side either from that side from any of the side but it is coming towards so there has to be a positive deflection right there has to be a positive deflection this is p p wave so now why it happened it happened because current went into this so over here if we really draw to it was like a spike right positive and this is happening in atria so we call this thing as atrial atrial depolarization positive atrial depolarization right when there is depolarization so then it has to fall also so that comes to atrial repolarization fine but depolarization is crystal clear now there is one very beautiful thing what happens over here see atrial depolarization right it occurs and then there is spike because the current came towards that electrode but now that current has reached to av node and av node is the only window so av node is slow so av node holds that current 
it will not immediately let it pass on to the bundle of haze and everything why should it really do that because it is the atrial depolarization when when the atria contracts atria contracts right when i see atria right atrium left atrium both right so they both contract now see there is a difference between electronics and there is a difference between physical thing yes it is a delay exactly this is a delay that delay allows the proper filling of the ventricles right because see atria are contracting so they are pushing their blood so that blood which is passing through those atrioventricular wall bicuspid and tricuspid so that it allows it allows ventricles to fill properly right ventricles to fill properly and this is a very important thing and that's why there is a flat line nothing is happening there is actually no conduction right that av av is just holding it right it is neither sending in any of the direction so there is no positive no negative nothing they are just sitting and then it sends it in a large way to the ventricles right and dhar 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 right it goes now see those ventricles so they are big boss thick musculature as compared to that bichara atria right atria to they are very small as compared to these big bosses right which are thick musculature so that's the reason that there is a spike this qrs qrs right qrs is big right so this really tells that this is what this one would be this one would be so if we say this is atrial depolarization right that makes sense this is where there is a delay so it means those ventricles they are filling properly so this is a ventricular filling phase right ventricular filling phase filling phase and then the ventricles fire and they throw the blood right so this is this one right this one is what ventricles are contracting right so we'll say that this is ventricular ventricular depolarization right ventricular depolarization but then where is atrial repolarization because now the blood has been pumped out and this t wave right t wave is ventricular repolarization ventricular repolarization if that is the case where is atrial repolarization well atrial repolarization is buried into ventricular depolarization so this is atrial repol is buried in why should it buried in right it is mass by qrs why because the amount of current which is for atrial repolarization that is so small as compared to thick musculature because current depends upon how much muscles there are how many muscles are there so if there are more muscles in ventricle they will be doing the dadagiri atrial small current will not be having any major effect and it would be masked or it would be dumped or it will be buried into the qrs complex right so that's how things go one interesting question right let's add one more page if we say if we say that when the current is moving towards now no one would ask this question as such right but just it's it's very interesting for the ecg when the current is coming towards the electrode right current is coming towards electrode that means it has to be positive right it has to be positive right? positive reflection positive and just now we said that as it starts from av node right from av node to it is like just a gold rush right then 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 it goes right and then it goes to purkinje and everything is positive positive so electrode is watching over here under no circumstances the current is going back right current is not going back so if that is the situation why it happens like that p wave is positive it makes sense but this slight dip and then plus 
why this slight dip why should it really go down right because current is coming in large quantity right in large quantity it is coming towards this so why should it really dip down right now i know this dip is very negligible it is very small but but the technically speaking why our ecg is never like this right because current is coming so it has to that this is a baseline right when nothing has and the moment this av node fires so it, it will come towards the electrode so it, it should go up current is not going like it takes slightly a reverse turn and then it is going towards no this never occurs for this there is really one very very interesting fundamental thing and that thing is we need to go at a cellular level this is our av node right and there is bundle of his this is a bundle when we say bundle that means these are the group of nerves which are going now in that this is the left side and this is the right side now you know the vector there is something what is called as the vector vector means what vector means if there is one pull which is in x axis one pull is over here the resultant vector would be this okay exactly so it is it is this left bundle right so what really happens this is things they are going fast over here here it is bit slow so resultant vector would be this resultant vector would be this so this is slightly towards the slightly towards the negative side right so that's why there would be slight dip and then it continues right so this is the thing that as you very rightly said that it is the left bundle branch right this left one right it gets depolarized slightly faster or slightly before as compared to right so here that the pulse one pulse two pulse three right so over here it would be like pulse one pulse two pulse three so the resultant vector would be this right so it will be slightly towards negative and then things continue so that's how that pqrs complex is formed right S make it easier this is where the p wave right this is this one that's where the p wave that is the atrial depolarization right then there is a flat line so then that during that flat line over here it fills the ventricle right and then well it's commonly absent well we'll see that it is not absent every time right okay i'll answer this thing in a minute right let's just finish this cycle right so then the qrs that is when there is ventricular depolarization right and that is when the contraction occurs and it pushes the blood out and then finally it relaxes right and as it relaxes it leads to ventricular repolarization so it relaxes and during that the second cycle has started right so the second cycle in which the atria are already in going into the contraction phase and they start filling up so it goes on and on and on right so that's why this 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 right ventricles contract ventricles relax and this is the atria contracts and these are the ventricles contract and the ventricles relax so it continues regarding the q wave yes many times it is absent it is absent because it depends upon totally upon the orientation of this bundle branch right left and right bundle branch now at times it happens because the heart is is not like exactly fixed absolutely in one orientation these are all specialized specialized myocardial fibers right which are taking up the function of pacemakers 
right they are the specialized waves the specialized tissues so their arrangement of tissues it is not exactly it is uh, it means both atria or both ventricle relax and contract together yeah that's right that's right almost together they contract and relax almost together very right so these are the special myocardial tissues right so their arrangement their arrangement is is in such a way that it is as such bit random so sometimes you'll find a very deep q wave and sometimes you'll find that q wave is there but it is almost absent or it could be totally absent right so this is a normal physiological variation so sometimes if it is absent so it is not an, a very alarming thing shift in the position yes we'll see that when there is cardiac shift that is right or left shift so will that that is what will take in the case right the how to detect that whether the heart has shifted onto the right side or the left side right and that is where we'll see that okay this is this is our heart right this is our heart if there is left ventricular hypertrophy right so that means there would be more musculature over here left ventricle has dilated right so it would the whole more current is over here so it would look like as if the heart is shifted right heart can cannot just whole heart rotate but it is like which chamber is bigger so obviously there would be more current over there right and we are looking at the vectors right we'll come to this so let's see few of the leads right when we put it on to the patient for this i would just draw it like this that okay if this is the heart right we have to watch the heart from various angles right from various angles from multiple planes we can watch it from the left side right we can watch it from an angle on the right side we can watch it from an angle on the left side right so as if we are watching all those when we did the dissection all those planes as if we are watching it from the right side angle right we are watching over there or we are on the left side and we are watching up or we are absolutely on the left side and we are watching it or we want to watch it from the top right at an angle or we want to watch it from below right or like 3d right we want to take the heart and we want to rotate it like this and watch it these are all multiple planes multiple planes right we want to rotate the heart and we want to watch it from various angles so this is ecg is nothing but looking at the heart from various angles and then we have to we give some names right <laughs> so the camera so like cameras exactly these are like cameras and and what let's say in cameras also in the cctv footage or in cctv control room you must be watching that okay one two three right they say okay, this is cam one cam two cam three cam four cam five cam six cam seven cam eight and in the, the, the okay, okay this is the gate from gate that person is going out right you see but then there is one camera which is exactly in front of the gate and you see that a chai he is coming over here right he is coming out because that camera is outside so that's how you logically say because in one cam that person is shown he is going away and the camera which is exactly outside right in that it is showing that person is coming towards right person is coming towards him same thing is going to happen in this case right this is very good i'll write it it is like cameras right it is like cameras very good you know this is the advantage of teaching trust me many times you get so many ideas now what what you said cameras right and the example which i gave you it it actually came in my mind because yesterday i was watching some serial and in that right it, this is pretty simple then they say see see the car is going it crossed on this road but bahar dusri taraf se bahar kyon nahi nikli right now there was a road over here there was one cctv in that they showed that yes it is out going out but then there was another 
कैमरा विच वॉज एट द गेट तो फ्रॉम हियर इट शुड कम आउट इसका मतलब इट इज बिटवीन दिस दिस पाथ ओनली सो दैट मीन्स इट गॉट डाइवर्टेड इन टू दैट जंगल एंड देन द होल स्टोरी स्टार्ट सेम थिंग राइट सेम थिंग सो दिस इज लाइक विल बी वॉचिंग द सी सी टी वी कंट्रोल रूम ऑफ द हार्ट गुड वन थैंक्स इन दैट इट वॉज इट वॉज गुड सो नाउ समथिंग बिट ऑफ ज्योमेट्री राइट बिट ऑफ ज्योमेट्री दैट्स द बेस्ट थिंग अबाउट दिस मेडिकल right it's a it's a combination of everything it's combination of physics and electronics and and the mechanical things right even the geometry so let's simplify the things ecg leads right ecg leads they are called as the leads we divide it into two parts right they are called as the limb leads they are called as the limb leads and rest are chest leads right very simple where exactly you put so limb leads will be using right arm left arm and left leg right right arm left arm and left leg so these are called as the limb leads limb leads they can be divided into two parts two parts one what is called as the bipolar in bipolar there are two one is negative one is positive so there are two poles so they are called as the bipolar right they are bipolar and those who are unipolar unipolar means that particular lead right that particular lead will be having only one point for assessing now if you are in electronics you'll say it's impossible yeah technically it is impossible just one wire it can never detect it can never detect if we say that over here there is one negative electrode and then there is one positive electrode and over here we say that there is one positive electrode but then without negative electrode it can never detect so why it is unipolar it is unipolar because then rest of the entire surface is acting like uh, earth minus there is no specific there is no specific electrode for the negative the whole surface will be acting like a minus one right we'll talk about it we'll and we'll just see that thing in more detail because once you understand this it becomes very easy and our today's intention is just that that by the end of today's session the moment it is said that it is lead one and immediately you say yes i am watching the heart from the left side but if that is clear our purpose is solved from tomorrow everything would be crystal clear then it would be like a simple mathematics right yeah tomorrow mathematics will come so bipolar right so in bipolar we have got lead 1 lead 2 <coughs> lead 3 they are bipolar that means there will be crystal clear one wire for minus one wire for plus yes these leads are electrodes that's right these leads leads are electrodes electrodes very right i'll tell you bit about the ecg machine also because when we say all these things it's not so that we just connect patient with 12 wires you know there are just three wires and those three wires they make actually six six leads right so we'll talk about it also acha unipolar they are called as the av r av l av f r is for right l is for left f is for foot right we just talked about that there is right arm left arm and the left leg so this is foot this is left this is right so then what is this av av right this v is vector 
V is vector. So, as if you are watching the heart from the right side, right? From the right side, you are watching the heart. So, it is right vector. You are watching it from the left side. So, it is and you are watching it from the foot. That means you are watching the base, right? You are watching the base. So, it means if there is any infarction in the base, it is this. From foot, you will be able to watch it. See, heart ko kuch ho hai. True. But then, then what is this A? A stands for, in electronics, there is something what is called as the augmented. Right? It is called as augmented. Augment, sorry. Augmented. This augmented system is needed when you really want to multiply the effect. Right? Because the current when we will be measuring, the current which we will measure in case of Vr, Vl and Vf, that is very low. So, we need to enhance it. Right? We need to enhance it. When we enhance, it is called as the augmented. Augmented means we are increasing. But why should we really increase it? Right? Because in that case, the paper which we have to use, instead of that ECG paper, the thin one, we have to use newspaper. Right? I will show you why. We add one more page, right? Just for example, right? Because on one page only, on one ECG machine or ECG paper only, there is one, two, three, AVR, AVL, AVF, right? And, and then you'll see the deflections here, 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 right? Here, here, everywhere. It is like that. But if, if we don't increase the current, the current which will be over here, it would be so small, it is like, we say, okay, okay, draw a graph, right? If I tell you, draw a graph, and I am giving you few values, this is the graph which we have to draw against temperature versus hour, hour of the day, hour of the day. And I say that represent 45 degree at say 12 o'clock and and say 40 degree at say 6 o'clock right 6 p.m this is 12 p.m and i i add one more thing yeah there are also v1 v2 we'll come to that and on top of it i say that you have to represent this also that 0.1 and means maybe let's say if we are this is not earth right it is it is like that we are on to some other planet where the temperature are dropping to this level it is this is at 2 am at night temperature becomes 0 0.1 now the trouble is that if we really want to or even if i say okay 0 0.01 i want to show this much now this is a trouble because 0 0.01 is almost like 0. But we say no, we want to be very accurate. We want to show this thing. Right? Now this is, this it cannot be shown. Because the value which is, this is so big as compared to this. There are higher values and lower values. So that's the thing. Because the current changes into this are very less. So that's why they are enhanced. Because finally, so we want to see the pattern. We don't we are not worrying about how much current we want to see the pattern because it is the pattern it is the shape of the ecg which is telling which will be telling us that how heart is behaving so that's why we can very well increase the value because this enhancement will be for the entire lead so the representation will be same yes it is like an amplifier because if we don't do this so then our lead one which will show a beautiful ECG like this and, and our AVR, right? It would be showing something like this Kiri Makori, right? It will be showing like this, which will be difficult to even figure out that what it is, right? But if we enhance it, so then we find, okay, yes, it is, it is like this, right? This is good, right? We can see this thing. So, so that's where this augmented thing is needed. Right? Because the current itself is very low. And then the chest leads. Chest leads will be watching the heart from the 3D perspective. Right? As if right in the front you have got the heart, then you move like this, 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 and you keep on watching. So they will be in the pattern of V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, 
v6 so total 12 they are called as 12 leads they are called as total 12 leads right yes they will be unipolar they will be unipolar that means when that lead would be active it will be measuring it will be considering the rest of the leads as zero right as a as a ground and relatively it will start watching that what is happening right from that particular angle okay we need to add one more page add page this is a page i am zooming it watch it first <laughs> watch it this only this portion right this is Le right arm left arm right right arm left arm correct sorry similarly this is the opposite the second one third right these are one two three evr avl avf so this first one i'll, I'll just name it as one and I'll draw it here. One. This is plus. This one is minus. This is right arm. This is left arm. That's the lead one. This is the lead one. So I'll give the direction like this. You are watching. Right. So current is going in this direction. Right. This is lead one. When it will come to lead Two, right when you come to lead two so that lead two is this right between right arm and the left leg this one is positive this one is negative so take it this way right arm is always negative right right arm is always negative and left leg is always positive so the third which we have to draw so this one would be called as the lead two right and this one this one this is lead three right this is negative this one is positive this one is positive so we have now three leads right we have got three leads so to the patient we just put one electrode here one electrode here and one on the left leg but you might ask that okay at times we have seen the one more electrode even on the right leg well that is a dummy that is a dummy right so that to to avoid the confusion that okay all four leads are kept right so by mistake no one attaches that left leg electrode onto the right leg because if that thing happens everything would start changing right so that's why a dummy electrode is there so that there is never a mistake clearly mentioned right arm left arm left leg right leg and that left uh, that uh, right leg is not having any electronic connection into the machine this is what we now draw right this what we drew over here this is called as the Einthoven's triangle it is called as the Einthoven's triangle. Right? Einthoven's triangle. Point to carry home at this point is that left leg is always positive. And this right arm, right, it is always negative. Right. let's go back to that figure and see something over here right see this is the positive one right this we are talking about this part so take it this way when the current is going from right arm to left arm right arm to left arm right when the current is going so how is left arm both positive and negative yeah exactly right well that's why i i took you to this figure 
because this is the beauty of electronics right this is the beauty of electronics that things they move so quickly and so effectively by the use of those integrated circuits that we actually get the complete picture without even changing those electrodes because yes you are right one electrode cannot be positive and negative both yeah so over here first think it like and from the medical student perspective no one is going to ask this question but just for the sake of curiosity it is good to know right that is what is called as the rapid switching <clears throat> so right arm to left arm right so when the current is going whosoever is coming in between right basically we are watching that from right side to the left side how the current is coming right that is one similarly over here it would be like that is from the perspective of two it would be like as if you are watching the heart from this angle right and also from from this angle right you are watching the heart from this angle and over here you are watching the heart from this angle correct wherever the positive is you are watching it from that point now if you just put it on the graph right on one image i'll i am putting it over here see we are making the complete system right we are making the complete system so can i say that this one is lead one right see the arrow see the arrow this is now we just write where the plus is right we are not writing negatives so this is plus or, or let's write it over here this is plus correct this is plus because this plus is towards what this plus is towards left arm right left arm so this is plus because this on the opposite side there was right arm now when the recording is done right when the current is is it is at a tremendous pace there is an auto switching right all these electrodes right you know that there are gates in electronics right now we are talking about electronics gates these are and gates or gates nand gates nor gates right and these gates they operate on the principle of what is called as the uh, one is resistor capacitor which makes rc coupling circuit and then there are transistors right these are transistors transistors are say pnp npn transistors right and the integration of all these transistors yes logic gates exactly these are the logic gates and integration of all these transistors millions and millions of transistors that leads to ic or the integrated circuits right integrated circuits and these integrated circuits which were previously single layer right and you were able to even shoulder and make it but now the things are they are multi layered circuits right and that comes into the form of what is called as the smd surface mounted devices that is when they are automatically the the size of the circuit first when it is drawn it is of the size of a huge room photographed and then the circuit is created and it is miniaturized and and that's how it is formed and the machines they put all those those uh, resistor capacitor transistors and that is what leads to multi layer surface mounted devices and these are nothing but your cpus same principle over here the current from all the right arm left arm left leg they are received by the central processor unit this central processor unit they act as input and as the output it is lead 1 lead 2 lead 3 which is getting recorded or getting displayed on the screen so it goes by that high speed switching it takes okay right arm left arm right you both are now operational right whatever your feed is that feed goes into the one within microsecond right it flips it flips between okay left arm and left leg now your your output that would be going all the way to the lead number right over here it will say lead number 3 left arm left leg right left arm left leg so it will say ki your output that would 
be fed to left leg and that is getting displayed this is getting displayed then between these two and it goes because this switching is so fast right so we never realize that it is one is taken over it is exactly like multitasking what what's really happening even right now on your computers right if you are watching something right and parallelly if there is some other process is also going going on so your processor is doing one work second work one work second work but it is going doing it at such a high pace that we feel case yes, both the things they are going well for example when you are downloading two or three files so it is one bit for coming from here one coming from here one coming from but they are switching so fast that you feel like everything is going together same thing is over here same thing right so actually there is only one wire but that one wire is getting electronically connected because of these logic circuits and it is making the display right thus making your life so easy so if you want on the display you want that yes now i just want lead one you want to zoom it you want to see it properly so yes it will immediately connect right at ra and la and it will display only that you want that i want to see two when you press two so two leads they will be shown together when you press all all the leads they will be shown together because the switching is extremely powerful right so that's why better the better and better cpus the better and better displays right <laughs> yeah it is also and in fact same thing happens in your routers when i when sometimes there are there are few videos on on routers that is how you really say when you are surfing one side but you might have opened five tabs so how those five tabs right one is say cisco.com one is youtube.com one is say microsoft.com right then there might be two three more sites and then you have opened three browsers and you are surfing all three together or at your place when there is one wi-fi connection and five persons they are surfing together and they are all doing different things right someone is watching games someone is someone is playing game someone is listening to music how everything is clubbed together it goes right and one thing will be fetched from youtube one will be fetching from some apple music and then it is displaced dispatched to everyone why it happens that say suppose mail which was sent to say narendra modi it is received by you no it never happens more than more than 75 billion emails sent and received every day but it never happens that suddenly we start getting emails from someone else no it never happens and it will never happen because of the hierarchical system the ironclad hierarchical system that is so powerful that it happens like this and then there are filters right and this happens at worldwide level and it happens like someone from usa is sending you a mail and you get it within say three seconds Three seconds within three seconds it has traveled the distance of over 20,000 kilometers and that also with such high precision so when you just check the whole path you'll be surprised at how many hops it is called as the hops how many hops it has traveled right from how many international gateways it has cleared and finally it reaches to India as international gateway from that gateway it comes to the state gateway from there to locals and then it keeps on filtering filter filter and finally it reaches to your desktop and then it reaches to even your mobile wherever you are moving so how effective the whole system is and on top of it there is security right so same thing both are amazing field but trust me once you learn medical now so it becomes very easy because against medical it so is very easy So the information which is inputted through RA, LA and LL is clubbed and telecasted as 1, 2, 3. It is not clubbed. It is not clubbed. Right? It is switched. So when you are displaying 1, that means you are talking about RA, LA only. Right? And then you, when you want to display 2, so then it would be between RA and LL. All leads show some graph of uh, ECG. Then why there are different leads and what difference does it make seeing it through different angles? Because ha, huh, so see then that's right. In combination, it works. And Ashwara, the thing is, we want to see the heart from different angles because we don't know which part of the heart might be damaged, right? 
When we see the ECG, we really want to be sure that which part of the heart is not functioning properly because that will give us the entire prognosis. Say if there is any septal infarction, so then that is dangerous, right? Huh. So, not only the infarctions, right? that is fine, infarction is one of the commonest thing, but, but even if there are some conductive uh, abnormalities, so in that we know that are, this, this ventricle before even it fills properly, it has contracted. So, ventricle was not filled properly and it has contracted. So, obviously, it won't be able to throw enough amount of blood. Right? The effect would be when the enough amount of blood is not thrown back, it will lead to the entire changes into the, our hemodynamic system. Because blood was needed, now it is not getting thrown because there was premature ventricular contraction. Premature ventricular contraction. See the word. Ventricle, they contracted before they were mature. Mature means before they were properly filled up. Right? So, obviously, there will be decrease in the cardiac output and then when the ventricles they are relaxing at that time the blood is coming and it is it is not leading to so ecg is like a routine checkup of heart that's right that's right it is it is like a routine checkup okay so here it is right so now we are very clear about this lead one lead one lead two and lead three now taking to taking you to the geometry right these degrees they are very much important so so over here yeah over here this is 0 degree this is 180 degree okay right 0 degree and 180 degree so if i say that from here to here so how much would be this degree this one this one, this one would be 90 degree. Am I right? 90 degree. Right. And how much would be? Yeah, that's right. So, if we say this side is positive, this side is negative. Okay. This side, we are with respect to this. So, above, above this dark line, black line, right? Above this one, this red line. Above is minus and below is plus. So, my next question is, what degree would be this? This one, this one. What would be the degree? This one. Exactly. Very good. This is minus 90. This is minus 90. Thick. So, that from minus 180, my things will start going in this direction. Right. right. And gradually over here, when we, when we say it over here, something which will be absolutely in between, it would be minus 45. Right. And then minus 45 44 43 and and then minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 and the 0 degree and once again from here 1 2 3 4 degrees would start we could have said it like 181 we could have said it as 270 degrees right we could have said that but this we are learning from the perspective of heart so anything if it is going towards the negative side it will be having one one important aspect that the chamber on this side is becoming big and it is pushing the heart on the opposite side. So, that is where we will be learning that how the heart rotation can be detected. Right? So, hang on for few seconds, few minutes. So, this is clear that above is minus, below is plus. Now, we draw one triangle. The triangle is drawn in such a way that all the sides ha. Huh, if positive clockwise and, and both if uh, clockwise and anticlockwise. That's right. That's right. Right. So, the, you can say it like this. Right. This is clockwise is positive. Ulta is negative. Achha. This is the triangle. The sum of all the angles of the triangle is 180 degree. If the all the sides, they are same. Remember, if all the sides of the triangle, 
this side is same as this side is the same as this side isosceles triangle right so that means their angles will also be the same and in that case all the angles they will be of <coughs> 60 degrees correct all the angles will be of 60 degrees perfect this is the inthovens triangle this is 60 degree this is 60 degree this is 60 degree now how exactly are we trying to draw this thing right how we try try are we trying to draw this thing it is this way this is one right so over here over here this is left arm so this was the right arm right so this is easy zero degree that makes sense when there was a right arm and the left leg left leg right so that is in that direction right and the third one which was between left arm and the left arm and the left leg this is two and this one was three correct but when we draw like this so actually the angle is this correct so it would be it would be making this angle 120 degree over here because for making a triangle, the triangle above, right, this triangle above, right, it would be, if this is 60, right, if this is 60, so this has to be 60, right. So the point is that this inthovens triangle is the triangle which is really drawn for the purpose, keeping in mind that how actually the, the electronics they will be watching this particular heart right how the electronics will be watching it but if we put it on geometry right so where there is one central point so this is this is like consider a central point right so this would be like zero degree right this would be like as we said 60 degrees so this is 60 degrees and this line has to shift over here because it is in this direction so we have to draw a line which is parallel to this so this would be 60 so this one would also be 60 so total there would be 120 we are making a system what is called as the cabera system and it is the cabera system which will be extremely helpful for understanding so here it is right forget about this avr avl avf right now just focus on these three that why this one is here it is at zero degrees it makes sense this two is at 60 degrees yes that also makes sense right but three was here but from three it was shifted over here because it is at 120 degree with this baseline so that's why now we have got three systems three angles right one this is extreme left from left we are watching this is as if we are watching from below here also we are watching from below but at from the different side make sense draw the heart like this we are watching from here we are watching from here we are watching from here right yes exactly it is the parallel shift of vectors and the when the, when they are parallelly shifted their angles remain the same correct so here is one correct here is two here is three that's how we are watching now things become easier so when we say that it is our lead two right our lead two is watching from the apex make sense because this we have understood that this is the apex of the heart right the left ventricle so it is watching from that angle this is watching from the opposite side angle remains the same but it is watching from the opposite side right so far good the next we add one more page mm -hmm. 
and I am going to keep everything as it is. Because sometimes when we when we understand it, right? After some some few hours, we start feeling confused. Kare wo kya tha? Right? So that's why we'll keep everything as it is. So this is done. One, two, and three. Done, done, and done. Right? Very clear. And at this point of time, don't worry much about that. What would happen to P wave and Q wave and QRS? Will come, will come. You'll you'll see that thing by yourself. Now we move on to the very important part, and these are the right vector, left vector, and the foot vector. Right? Things are crystal clear. In this, no strain. This is the heart. This is the heart. Right? This is the heart. Chalo. We have got we have got left arm, right arm, and the left leg. In VR, these are the unipolars. That means that entire thing, the, those who are on the opposite side, they will be all considered as ground. They will be all considered as ground. So when we say A, V, F, right? A, we understood that it is the augmented. So we have increased the value, right? So this is the VF. VF means, simply speaking, it is watching from below. This, absolutely down. So this is VF. Augmented, that's why we are telling AVF. Right? Then, about the AVR and AVL. Right? Why they are at an angle and not like on zero degrees? To see this thing, we need to go back to this. We need to go back to this. This is what is called as the actual vector. Right? So, let's see it over here. Draw it and see it. Here, it was between right and left. So, right is pulling down, left is pulling down. That's how the vector is formed. So, effective vector would be dead center. This would be like this. Right? This is the effective vector. Because what we have done is, we have said that all of them, all those things which are on the opposite side, they are minus. We are plus over here. So, what we are getting is resultant effect of all of them. So, that's why this vector is like this. Correct? If this is fine, let's add one more. If this is fine, this is for AVF, right? What would happen when we draw it like this? This is right arm. This is the left leg. And this is whole thing as one. And there is one who is watching from here. So what he'll be getting? He will not be getting this vector. Correct? He'll not be getting this vector. He'll be getting something which is center and it is perpendicular to this. Right? Something which is perpendicular to this. So, if we draw it like this, that if this is the zero degree, this thing will go into this minus. Right? It will go into the, into the minus part. AVL. Right? So, here it is, this one, this one, AVL. Why it went like that? Because, say, it was like this, right? This was the line, this was the line, this was the line, right? And this is perpendicular to it. So that's why this would be, if this is, 90 degree. This is 90 degree. So, already 60 degrees. So, we know this part. right? This is already 60 degree. What is left out is 
30 degrees more. This 30 degrees towards the opposite side. So, it becomes minus 30. The game of vectors. So, AVL, AVR and EF are all resultant vectors. Precisely, they are the resultant vectors. Right? Very nice. So, AVR, AVL and AVF, they are resultant vectors. Right? They are the resultant vectors where opposites they are considered as ground. Right? So, that is how this thing will go towards minus 30. So, this is what we said. This will be EVL, right? left side and this angle that would be minus 30. Right? Because this portion, this is already 60 degrees. So, this is 60 and it is going towards this so that this becomes minus 30 and same way it would be true even for the for the opposite one that is over here that is AVR so where this is all grounded and the resultant vector would be this would be this so in this case it would be minus 30 on the opposite side so it will become minus 150 right so let's see it over here here uh, wait let me duplicate the page right and and over here select all annotations and delete yes now clean slate right see the thing this is good zero degree this is two sixty degree this is three thirty right this what we are watching from the from the our left arm this is what you are watching from the you are watching from the left leg right and this is EVL and that's minus 30 and same way over here when it is 0 so this would be 30 degree right so AVR AVL AVF these are the augmented resultant vectors when we superimpose all of them together this is what we are getting this is what we are getting Right, so this is what I'll, I'll just zoom this thing. Huh. This is one, right? This is one, it is showing up, that means this side is plus. So, practically, you are watching it from here, right? This is this is two. So, you are watching it from here. This is 3, right? This is also up. So, you are, you are watching it from here. This is plus, right? This is plus. Electrode-wise, I am telling, right? Electrode-wise, they are plus. AVR. AVR here, it is showing down because actually AVR is watching from here. Because this entire portion from the AVR perspective was grounded. So, resultant vector was this. This was the resultant vector. So, this AVR is watching the heart from the opposite side. Right? So, that is why this is over here plus. Right? Same way, AVL. AVL is watching it from here. AVL is watching from here. So, this is plus. Right? And that AVR, AVL and the AVF. AVF is watching absolutely from below. It is watching from here, right? It is watching from here, ulta, right? Just watching from the base. This tells us that, see, these are the electrodes, right? These are all V1, V2. But 1, 2, 3, right? Lateral, inferior, inferior, right? Lateral, then inferior, inferior, 
करेक्ट देन ए वी आर इज जस्ट द उल्टा ए वी एल ए वी एल वॉज ऑन दिस एंगल ए वी एफ एब्सोलूटली ऑन टू द फुट डाउन वी वन टू वी थ्री वी फोर वी फाइव वी सिक्स वी हैव नॉट टच दट राइट सो लेट्स राइट इट ओवर हियर राइट दिस थिंग वुड बी गुड सो हाँ वॉट यू सॉ दिस इज वॉट इज कॉल एज द करेरा कबेरा सिस्टम राइट इट इज कॉल एज द कबेरा कबेरा सिस्टम इट इज दिस कबेरा सिस्टम विच इज टेलिंग अस दैट वॉट एग्जैक्टली आर वी वॉचिंग राइट दिस इज ऑल्सो कॉल एज द रेफरेंस सिस्टम और द हेग्जा एक्सियल रेफरेंस सिस्टम एग्जा एक्सियल रेफरेंस सिस्टम रेफरेंस सिस्टम this is a kabera system it is not necessary that yes we we need to know this thing but once you have understood now see how how easy it becomes see if this is the heart right if this is the heart so then the lateral side i mean left lateral side which leads would be watching and instantly you will say that it was lead 1 and there was avl avl right they will be watching so our findings would be pretty similar in avl and lead 1 true what about the base the inferior part or the base inferior with respect to that that entire heart right inferior or we say at they want to see the base right very easy right instantly we say if one to was that was this which was watching that was the avf foot right foot and on one side there was two and on another side it was three right so over here it was lead two and over here it was lead three and both were at the dif difference of 30 degrees 30 degrees fair enough and who will be watching from the right side from the right side only one lead a v r right that is what will be watching from the right side you just remember this and on that tomorrow will be super imposing lead 1 v1 v2 v3 v4 v5 v6 and it becomes crystal clear right now we are working in 2d we are working in 2d because of the planes they are like flat planes right to that so it is like we are dealing with x axis and y axis to that will be adding the z axis as it is coming out from my heart and going towards you that would be the z axis right or the z axis but once you know this then we'll start with all the abnormalities and what to see things will be absolutely easy right so we stop at this point stop at this point just the crux of entire session for today that which lead will be watching which side of the heart and why that is because of the resultant vectors and that's what we really see saved it yes and yeah from tomorrow from day after tomorrow and then we'll we'll straight away we'll start watching all these is yes and yes all those stuff right even the ecgs and then we'll see lots and lots of ecgs so that we'll be having all those variations also right so i'll just write thank you over here right thank you so much and see you day after tomorrow and just do revise this thing draw these things by yourself also so that it becomes crystal clear in your mind right because every time <clears throat> then we we'll, we won't be able to go back that is when we say okay, okay see there is the basal in fact right so straight away watch the avf or straight away watch the 2 or 3 right so it should come in instant हेलो 
हेलो हेलो हेलो okay i think there was some interruption because youtube crashed and then it restarted again uh okay anyway i i'll just answer this question before we finish that why why there is a question was then what are v1 to v6 for well v1 to v6 are what i was talking about was that let's say this is the this is the right ventricle so if there is anything to the right ventricle we'll be able to wa watch it if we are watching it right from right from the front right so watching it from that angle from the front and then we go towards the side so that will give us the complete 3d perspective because we would like to see things from x axis y axis and the z axis right so from 3d perspective when we watch it that's the reason which is for v1 to v6 right okay so thank you so much and sorry for this interruption but uh, well see you tomorrow uh, day after tomorrow for the next session of ecg Take care and see you. Bye-bye.